Yeah, you bet. Hi, everyone. Hi. How's it going? You see all the cameras? You might be on the news tonight. That's pretty exciting, hey? Yeah, look at all the cameras. You got to smile at the cameras. Okay. Go. Good afternoon, everyone. It is great to be here at North Glenmore Elementary on the unceded traditional territory of the Sil First Nations. Uh, it is great to be here with so many students. Celebrate the progress we are making in supporting students, families, and school staff in this. Uh, I want to lift my hands and thank Principal Stevenson, uh, wherever she is, uh, for welcoming us here at North Glenmore Elementary. This is a pretty happening place as I got a chance to, to have a tour of the school uh, just before, uh, before we got here. Uh, now, my name is Ravi Parmar, and I'm pleased to be here on behalf of the Minister of Education and Child Care, Rachna Singh, who uh, really had wished to be here but asked if I could come and share some exciting news with you. I'm the MLA for Langford Juan de Fuca. I was elected in a by election just about a year ago uh, to replace my friend, uh, the former Premier of our province, John Horgan, and I also have the honour to serve as the Parliamentary Secretary for International Credentials. Uh, now, I got my start uh, in public service, uh, in public education, fighting for two new schools in my community uh, well over 13 years ago as a high school student, uh, so it's very special for me to be here in Kelowna today to talk about public education and the need for more classrooms for growing communities like the Okanagan region. Uh, but before we get Get into that. Uh, I'm really pleased to be able to give a warm welcome to the podium here to Chris Joe uh, from the West Bank Nation, who will start us off with a territorial welcome. Chris. Wait, my Glasgow call and Jarius Eric squeezed. He squeezed him in Clayton. Um, I'm a representative of WFN. Uh, I'd like to thank all those who are here, who all came here to join us on this day. And I'd also like to thank to make a thanks for all those projects. Um, i also like to mention that uh, uh, we have Chaptik, our legends and stories that come from long ago, from millennia. Uh, when the, ta when the world was on fire, the stars, they also have names. We have names for all, all, the, all the land, for the Mekwut, the mountains, the Sish, the water, and the Nashli Temkulach, and Nash Temuch, and the Temuch is all the living things. They all have names. Um, the land misses us, and they, they can hear us, they can feel us. Okay. Um, right, then uh, Thanks very much, uh, Chris. Uh, thank you so much for starting us off uh, in such a good way. Uh, I'm now pleased to introduce, uh, as a helicopter just flies above me, <laughs> I'll let it pass for a moment, but I know she's very excited to get here to the podium. They must be wondering what's going on here. There's a lot of people here. This is exciting. Uh, now to, to welcome us and bring us a land acknowledgement, a uh, grade five student here at North Glenmore, uh, pleased to welcome uh, Erlen Zanon to the podium. Welcome. My ancestors are from Iroquois and European descent. I would like to acknowledge that we are learning and living on the unceded traditional territory of the Okanagan Silks people, who have lived here for time immemorial. This land is beyond beautiful. Some things I appreciate about the land are the rolling hills, the many lakes, the wilderness, and the four food chiefs. One way, I can, one way I can honor the Okanagan Silks people is by always leaving footprints and love, not garbage. This is a fresh start for, for the next generations. Lim Lim. Uh, 
Uh, thanks so very much, Erlen, um, for that uh, personal land, uh, land acknowledgement. I think we're also thankful to be here uh, on these beautiful lands. And for me personally, I'm so pleased to be here uh, as a visitor as well. So thanks so much for being here and sharing those words. Uh, now, for all that you've been waiting for, the real excitement of today, uh, I am pleased to turn it over to the Gators. How are we doing, Gators? Good. I'm going to turn it over to kindergartner Owen Henry to introduce his fellow classmates to perform the life cycle of the butterfly. Uh, the performers will be led by teachers Laura Henry and Corey Wright. All right, Owen, over to you. There you go, bud. Good afternoon. My name is Owen, and the kindergarten classes have been learning about butterflies. We will now sing the butterfly life cycle song. Enjoy. I think we can be louder than that. Come on, give it up for them. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Okay, I think, we're, I think you guys got what you need. We're at the end of our announcement. We're good to go. Awesome. Now, I think you guys got to get back to class, but thanks so much for that. How about another round of applause for these kindergartners? Way, way to go, Gators. Uh, as, as you exit the stage, I'll, uh, uh, out of respect for everyone's time, I'll keep going. Uh, thank you all again for your presence here today uh, to witness this milestone event by our government to help with high enrollment growth in central Okanagan. Uh, we are here at North Glenmore Elementary where construction is well underway to expand the school by five new classrooms to help with the exponential growth we are seeing in this region. I think it's fair to say that Kelowna and the broader central Okanagan region is the place to be. Uh, in fact, for me personally, this is my second visit in the last couple of months. Uh, we have experienced here in British Columbia record population growth with over 350,000 people in the past two and a half years calling BC their home. Uh, taking this stat from our friends at Statistics Canada, every 37 days, 10,000 people move to British Columbia, many here in Kelowna and throughout the Okanagan region. And with this growth, we know that there are need for more services and access to services, including schools. But we know that traditionally built classrooms and new schools can take years to construct. Uh, as a former board chair from the Growing Sioux School District on Vancouver Island, I know how hard it is for the school districts like the one here to deal with that growth. It's one of the issues that led me to run to be an MLA to represent my community. I believe to my core that public education is the great equalizer. And in order for us to support public education, we as a government need to build the classrooms communities like this one deserve faster. There will be 120 seats and five new classrooms for students at North Glenmore Elementary this fall, uh, as you can see to my left. These classrooms are prefabricated with sustainable and energy efficient design and I think many of us can agree as a former student who spent a lot of years in portables, they're much better than portables and it will bring much relief to this growing community. Uh, but I also want to recognize that I know that it's not enough. We have to do more. The needs for fast-growing school districts like Central Okanagan are urgent, and our Premier David Eby and our government are taking urgent action to meet this need with multiple projects, one of which I'm pleased to be here to announce today.
Uh, for our friends in West Kelowna, today I'm pleased to announce that our government is investing $10.5 million towards a new free prefabricated expansion at Chief Tomat Elementary School that will add seven new classrooms and deliver 165 new student spaces for the growing community. This expansion will add five elementary rooms and two new kindergarten rooms to help meet the significant growth in the elementary enrollment. It will deliver quality learning, environments that get students into open, spacious classrooms faster. With prefabricated expansions, the build time can be cut in half, making a big difference in delivering more spaces sooner for kids in central Okanagan. The Chief Tomat Elementary School's $10.5 million expansion is on top of $180 million we have invested in the past seven years to build 2,385 new student seats in the Central Okanagan District. That is amazing and I'm so uh, thankful to the Board of Education, to the Superintendent and staff for your work with our government to ensure that that investment leads to more classroom spaces. Uh, as I start to conclude, I also want to take a moment and speak directly to everyone in the Central Okanagan District, uh, all of the teachers, the staff, the students, uh, the board chair, the trustees, especially as we are entering June, which is often uh, a very busy month at schools uh, and across the district. Uh, everyone who works so hard to make schools loving, supportive places for students to learn and grow. And I know that we have representation from the Teachers Association and I understand from QP here as well. I want to thank you on behalf of our Premier and our government for everything you do day in and day out to support our students. Uh, I wouldn't be at this podium if it wasn't for the people in my community. The teachers, the bus drivers, the EAs, the principals that would tell me to get out of the hallway and get back into class. The list goes on and on. Uh, the same can be said here. I know firsthand how truly important these new expansions are for growing communities. I now want to turn it over to uh, the very hard-working board chair. I served as a board chair for 10 years uh, and, and as a trustee for those years as well. Uh, not an easy gig. Uh, I know that uh, many of you, when you take on these roles, uh, are really excited, but there are a lot of sleepless nights. Uh, and as uh, someone who also represented a fast-growing area, uh, I know that uh, I was talking to the superintendent, in, in my case, uh, on a daily basis about how we're going to fit the kids into these schools. So I want to acknowledge the Central Okanagan District, in particular, uh, Board Chair Leanne Tidi for all that she's doing, uh, and welcome her to the podium to say a few words. Okay. Um, on behalf of the Board of Education, I just want to say that uh, in an effort to support the rapid growth of the Central Okanagan, uh, we have prioritized advocating for funding for classroom space and we really appreciate this investment in our students and we look forward to working together, continuing to work together and um, meeting the needs of our students and families as we continue to grow. And you've, you've already addressed all of that growth, and it just keeps coming. So we thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. That's a sign of a good board chair. Says her thank yous and says we need more. I like that. I, I used to do that all the time when I was a board chair. So thanks so very much, Leanne. Uh, indeed, this is a very exciting day uh, and exciting news for the families living here in the central Okanagan region. Uh, what a wonderful place to raise a family. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out today to celebrate uh, this expansion announcement that is happening in the central Okanagan school district. Uh, these new expansions here and certainly the one that will begin at Chief Tomat uh, Elementary School that uh, will uh, be complete in 2025 uh, and start for the 2020 school year uh, is going to be just some of the steps that we're going to take to work with the Board of Education to address the capacity challenges uh, that they are facing in this very growing region. Uh, thanks so very much for, for having me here today and I'll turn it over to Sasha for questions from the media. Thank you for joining us today. For media on the line, please press star 1 to enter the queue. You'll have one question and one follow-up. For media in the room, please put your hand up if you have a question, and we'll come right over there with the microphone, and you'll be able to have one question and one follow-up. Please state your name and your outlet, and we'll start with the media in the room. Just one moment here. Uh, 2025. Uh, uh, Kent Mulgat from uh, Kelowna Now. Uh, first, in reference to the building behind you, I think 
a lot of us are used to um, main school buildings and portables. Does this now become the new mode? Will we be seeing less portables outside of schools and more, I don't know, permanent structures like this? Yeah, thanks very much for the question, Kent. Uh, uh, it's certainly a focus for us. As I shared uh, in my earlier remarks, we are seeing uh, close to, to 10,000 people uh, every 37 days move to British Columbia, and we have to find ways to keep up the growth. Uh, I've had an opportunity to be here in Kelowna a couple of times now over the past couple of months. This is a beautiful place to raise a family, and I know so many people are making the choice to move to Kelowna and the broader central Okanagan region, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to getting a chance to meet with uh, many of the Chamber of Commerce folks and others uh, on my tour uh, in this region this week. Uh, but we know that we need to move fast. And what's really great about this announcement that we're making at Chief Tomont and what you're seeing behind me here at North Glenmore is the ability to take what has often been uh, long construction projects to build new schools and expansions and use prefab. It's like putting Lego pieces together. Much of this is built off-site, uh, put together here on-site. Uh, and in the case of the, the project that I announced today at Chief Tomat Elementary School, a $10.5 million expansion uh, to build out new classrooms and over 165 seats, we'll be able to do that. Rather, the school district will be able to do that uh, in about a year's time. And I know that that speaks to the level of growth and the innovation that we need to do to ensure that we can build more classrooms and have less portables outside our schools. So if I could just spend my follow-up here. Um, our board chair alluded to needing more. Um, I think a lot of people were wondering if this might be the day that finally we hear about Rutland Middle School being replaced and also we hear a pretty big need for an elementary school downtown. Yeah, thanks very much for that. Uh, look, uh, since we formed government, uh, we've invested uh, over $180 million, 2,300 seats uh, into the Okanagan region to support this growing school district. Uh, the annual capital budget since we formed government has doubled. Uh, year over year, and so we do know we know that there's need a need to do more. Uh, this will not be the only announcement uh, that my that myself and my colleagues will be making uh, in the Central Okanagan region. We will be back again and again uh, to support this growing school district. We know uh, that the board uh, about this time uh, uh, in the year, from my days as a trustee, is just putting together next year's capital plan, uh, usually uh, in submission from June. And so I know that there is going to be a need for more investment, and our government and our minister understands that, and I know is working very closely with the superintendent and the board to ensure that we can continue to make investments uh, in new school seats, which certainly has been uh, a big priority for us in this region. Is there another question in the room? Okay, and we have, yes? Okay, perfect. Please state your name and your outlet and you'll be able to have one question and one follow-up. Yeah, hi, it's Madison Reed with Castanet. Uh, we know Glenmore here has been over capacity for a number of years, so will these additional 120 um, spots um, allow for the school to be running at capacity or just under it? Yeah, well, I'll certainly turn it over to, to Leanne if she has any comments specifically uh, with regards to the school. But um, uh, this is probably one of the larger uh, elementary schools that I've had an opportunity to uh, to visit. I want to give a, a huge shout out again to the principal uh, and her team for all they do. Uh, it cannot be an easy job. Uh, uh, allowing uh, 600 plus students to be running around uh, at lunchtime in elementary and I know that uh, because of those challenges uh, there's a need to look at uh, uh, not ensuring that all 600 students are out at uh, lunch break as an example but uh, uh, I know that this is going to be uh, uh, um, you know the, certainly the expansion here and the one at Chief Tamad is going to help with the growth we're seeing in those communities uh, as you can see from just the drive that I participated here in this region uh, this Glenmore area is rapidly growing and so so it's really important for us to ensure that we have these expansions uh, in place. Again, uh, typically it would take uh, uh, school districts and government uh, years upon years to get projects like this in place. That's why we've taken immediate action to announce this investment uh, and work with the school district. And I would add the Central Okanagan School District, which has high credibility uh, with our government in this community to get working very quickly to deliver uh, these classroom expansions uh, in less than a year's time uh, for students. And so in September 2025, students will be here and in these classroom spaces and, again, less portable. So happy to turn it over to Leanne for any thoughts. Okay. Do you have a follow-up? So we, what's the, in terms of the overcapacity, do we know by how many students? Do we have a number? Yeah, I don't. I don't have the specific uh, uh, numbers. Uh, and I, 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 as I was going on my tour uh, through the school, uh, 
uh, the principal had shared with me that I think there was an expansion in 2001, uh, and, and, and certainly uh, more portables have arrived. Uh, and so uh, we're going to continue to support the school, but certainly there's going to be a need uh, for more infrastructure, uh, new schools, uh, further expansions, uh, certainly in this growing area, uh, and as well as into the downtown core of Kelowna, where you're seeing a lot of high density. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm really pleased to be here to make this investment, but also share uh, that this is not it. Uh, we're going to continue to come back and support uh, this growing school district in this broader region. So to answer your question on the numbers, we currently have 649 students in this school. This building project behind us will add five more classrooms. We have currently 10 portables on site, so we'll only remove five portables. So we'll, we'll continue to have five portables on site, so, and we're still growing. So, thank, you. thank you, and that concludes today's event. Great. Thanks so much for being here, everyone.